Hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. A real pleasure to have you here with us in Hi. London for the Film Festival. Yes. Maybe you could just kick off with a brief introduction to this incredible adaptation of Lady Chatterley's Lover. And of course, people might already be familiar with the book or seen other adaptations. Um, what was the appeal for you and getting on board with this particular one? Um, I didn't really know the book coming in, so it was a wonderful sort of excuse for me to um, delve into that. Um, but I think the appeal for me was getting the chance to work with Emma, mm -hmm. um, who, I, who I knew was going to be involved and who was brilliant uh, throughout. Um, it was, uh, and it was a real exciting sort of opportunity to bring, um, as as far as I could see, some. I think in previous adaptations there hadn't been as much um, empathy towards Clifford, which I found almost immediately in the in the in the novel. Um, so it was a, a nice excuse to sort of bring something different to him. I think that's very true. Um, and yeah, how did you see the character of Clifford and? We do see all these different sides to him, and, and you, you, you definitely do have empathy, but even if you don't always agree with perhaps the way he behaves yeah. or um, the way he does kind of, you know, clamp down on Connie as life goes on at rugby. Um, so how did you kind of see him and how did you want to play him? Um, I think it's a real case of sort of you, you like him until you don't, you know. Um, he... Uh, but I, I think what I found working on it, he's he's as much of a victim of circumstance as any of the three of them are. Um, you know, he 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 and Connie fall for each other in a in a a, a world of ideals, and um, you know he he's um, he's quite the socialite and, and, and quite a, an, an easygoing, happy um, happy go lucky guy. Um, and she and he share uh, an intellectual uh, love for each other and, and compassion for each other, which you know, was the foundation of something, but then the world sort of gets shaken for them, you know, unrecognisably by the events of the First World War and um, and the loss of his older brother and the fact he has to come home and rule the homestead and, and find this place within aristocracy that he was never expecting for himself. And um, I think those gear shifts, the fact he has this sort of responsibility thrust upon him that he's not quite prepared for, was expecting, um, that's, that's really what... Um, what begins to crumble the, the real solid friendship that he and Connie had in the beginning, I think. And that was a really interesting arc to discover for him. Mm. And it's very much as well kind of put more from, from Connie's perspective maybe than other, other yes. versions. And, and, and also, you know, exploring a bit more the relationship between Connie and Mrs Bolton. So, yeah, what was it like working with Emma and also Jodie Richardson? Oh, Jodie Richardson is a wonderful, wonderful woman who had so much time for me and, and, um, and offered so much advice and, and help and was a real sort of comfort to have in, in quite a lot of our scenes. Mm -hmm. um, and it is, it is wonderful that, you know, Connie is, is given so much more agency in our adaptation, you know, it's a, it's a real sort of exploration of, of her, um, her agency and her own story, mm. you know, she gets to she gets to really pull the strings, and, and we get to see that. Whereas, you know, in, in the novel and in other adaptations, there's not quite that sort of concentration on on female strength. Mm. And in terms also of kind of getting into that period, um, the, the the costumes, being in that big house, and of course having to, you know, to deal with the kind of the physical aspect of, of mm. being paralysed, you know, I understand you had some kind of advice on, on that front as well, so maybe talk a bit about that. Yes, so um, I have some uh, lived experience of body difference, I have cerebral palsy, obviously I, I, I do have uh, the use of my legs, so it was a bit of a discussion as to how um, we would sort of work on Clifford's disability and what what that was, mm -hmm. you know, there was um, in the novel there is reference to his paralysis um, that that you know that there, there are always references to doctors having hope and uh, all is not yet lost. And there are previous adaptations where he's looking at sort of electrolysis, electrolysis as a cure to sort of bring him uh, out of himself. And we were we were talking a lot about what might give that hope in that time. And um, you know, not being um, Paralysed, I wondered what I might be able to bring, and um, so I was working more with a, a, maybe a, a possibility of his having a paresthesia, which is like a, a, a chronic um, pins and needles and a numbness, but an awareness. And um, and you know there was there were stories of people receiving sort of massive trauma to the back in sort of shrapnel blasts and everything else um, that went along in 
bomb blasts in the First World War and such. So I, I sort of played around with that idea and the, the sort of hope that that may pass or, you know, that all was not lost for him, but, but at least for the, for the foreseeable, this was, this was his lot, mm. you know. And ultimately, what do you hope people take away from watching the film? Because I guess it's bringing the story to a new generation and, and there are those kind of timeless themes of, you know, uh, different kinds of love, searching for love and, and the, it would be going beyond sort of class boundaries um, and you know the kind of usual expectations of society. Absolutely yeah I mean the, the, the sort of ascension of the British class system is, is sort of paramount to the story but I think coming off the back of um, the sort of Covid era, um, the coronavirus era, just, a, just a, a sense of togetherness and that real connection and romance I think will be what I hope people really enjoy about our adaptation. Thank you so much for sharing all that with us. Thank you. I really can't wait for everyone else to see the film. Thank you. Oh, my Cheers. Cheers.